Hello everyone, it's Irma Elias, otherwise known as Squat Mom. You guys know me well. Today I kind of am thinking about vlogging, talking about a certain subject that I've been hearing on the internet, primarily YouTube, but I've heard it a number of times. It's pertaining to women mostly, but I see this in men as well. The topic is uh, producing asymmetry in our bodies and ways to resolve that or ways to correct uh, asymmetry in our body. So what I've been hearing on uh, YouTube from uh, various popular influencers is uh, that they like to work out certain muscles and they neglect other muscles because of maybe a preconceived notion that you know working out your pecs and this is a big one for women uh, guys this doesn't really uh, uh, pertain to you working out your pecs is going to shrink the size of your breasts or maybe shrink the fat in your chest and give you like a, a man's type of, of pecs, meaning big bulgy pecs and smaller breasts. That's one thing that I keep hearing from various uh, vloggers, various influencers, is that they're willing to work out certain parts of their body and other parts of their body they just don't do. Uh, one of them I heard yesterday say, I will work out my triceps, but I don't do my biceps. I will work out my back and my shoulders, but I won't work out my chest. I even asked my daughter about this and she said, I completely understand that. I would do the same thing. When I was young, I used to, I used to think the same way. I used to think, wow, you know, the last thing I wanna do is uh, work my chest out and either have my chest, chest lose the fat in the, uh, in the breast tissue and have, you know, possibly saggy breasts. That's, that's a fear of a lot of women. Um, but I wanna say something about this, this way of thinking that I think is really a fallacy in, in most women's thinking is like, wow, I don't wanna look like a guy, or um, you know, I'm worried that you know, I might get too big of pecs, or my breasts are gonna shrink in size. These kinds of uh, thoughts are very incorrect. First of all, to look like a man, these, these women that you see that look you know, huge or look like men, uh, they work out hours and hours a week or a day. Um, some of them can work out three to four hours, like these famous CrossFit, CrossFit women. They're working out uh, four to six hours a day, and uh, they still look like women. They're still quite beautiful. They, they look amazing, some of the most popular CrossFitters. So, um, and the same thing with bodybuilding. Those people work out like crazy. They drink a lot of protein, and some of them even take steroids. So to, to say that you, you're afraid to look you know, too masculine or lose your femininity, um, these, are, these are not correct ways to think. What you should be thinking is if I work out you know, solid, and work out all my body parts. Um, I'm gonna look more like a woman. I'm gonna have a smaller waist. Uh, my shoulders will will become broader, which will accentuate my tiny waist. My stomach will be flatter. If I work out my back, I need to work out my chest because what happens here is that it causes body asymmetry, and that's. That's the last thing you want. You don't want body asymmetry. You don't want to look, uh, you know, broad in the shoulders, but thin in the chest. You, you don't want this kind of concave 
look or a big back but a small chest. You need to make all the muscles balanced. It's, it's so important to work out, I wrote some notes here, to work out your entire body. So I'm gonna talk a little bit here about body asymmetry. If you have muscle imbalance, um, uh, I looked it up on the internet and it says the two causes are certain repetitive movements Think of a hairstylist who is constantly doing the same movement all day long. You know, clip, 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 clip. Or the second reason is uh, holding a posture or a position for too long a period of time. So you think about a surgeon, he's hunched over all day operating. Or, you know, again, the, the hairstylist all day long you know, using her shoulders, they, they get serious shoulder problems and, and, and real muscle imbalances. These kind of repetitive motions, these, these movements that they do over and over and over all day long, it, it can cause uh, one part of, of your body to be pronounced and another part of your body to basically shrivel or, or look um, very weak. So how do I fix muscle imbalances? I'm gonna give you five solutions or five ways to fix muscle imbalances. First of all, you're gonna use unilateral exercises. The benefit of a single leg or single arm movements in your training programs is that the exerciser is using both sides of the body equally. That's one way to correct uh, muscle imbalances or asymmetry. The second is to start with the weaker side. Work the weaker side out more than the stronger side. The third is to let the weaker side set your workout volume. And I, I like this one the most. You have to work out your weaker side. Say, say your left arm isn't as uh, big as your right. It's very tiny because of you know, a, whatever your job is, you're a mechanic, whatever it is. <clears throat> you're gonna work out the left side or the weaker side and let it set the pace for what you're gonna do with the stronger side. So you're gonna do possibly more to, to exhaustion on the left side and then um, doing the same amount on the right side or a little bit less on the right side will correct those imbalances. And then finally, you're gonna fix the underlining problem, the mobility or the flexibility. So I would recommend that you're gonna do stretches uh, to correct these imbalances, this asymmetry. You want to do stretches that will help you so that you could be more flexible or more mobile. Uh, another thing that uh, I would recommend is that you see a physical therapist or a chiropractor to help you understand what exercises are needed to be done to help with those asymmetries. They'll give you specific exercises that you wouldn't think of in the gym, you know, helping you correct your balance, your form, and strengthen the ligaments, the tendons, and the muscles surrounding that weaker area. They're very good at that. That's what they're trained to do, okay? So I want to comment again about these women that have this strong fear of looking like a man or, you know, uh, avoiding certain exercises. They really need to think about the fact that you know they're in the gym maybe an hour four times a week maybe an hour and a half and and there's just no way that they're gonna you know pump up to the point that they look like a dude this is this is such a small type of thinking you need to think wow I really want to work hard when I'm there on all my muscles and and that's you know uh, a segue into what I want to talk about next the best way I feel to, to work out all your muscles in a short period of time and get the benefit 
of exercise or weightlifting and look, you know, radiant and beautiful is to focus on the compound exercises. And I highly recommend that you focus on five basic compound exercises. The first one, of course, is the squat. Again, I'm squat mom. I, I really think that squat is going to work out all the muscles of the lower body and also your back muscles. It even works your shoulders, all the back muscles, um, your low back, your it, it works your glutes, it works your hamstrings, it works your quadriceps, everything. Everything gets work with the squat. I would recommend that you squat three to four times a week. Um, the next is the push press. The push press is basically predominantly a shoulder exercise. It will round your shoulders. It will give you that V shape. Um, it's, it's an excellent exercise uh, along with uh, the regular press. It, both of those exercises are great for broadening your shoulders and giving you those that that wonderful definition that you get on your shoulders or that you're looking for the next is the bench press i love to do the bench press i've read article after article of the benefits of doing the bench press at least twice a week again girls you're not going to get pronounced pecs that de-emphasize your breasts or deflate your breast <laughs> worse yet i know that's what i know that's how you girls think you're gonna get like a way to push your breasts forward and have better posture it's going to help you your entire core especially the front but you know the back exercises are what is going to balance the bench press it gives you that glow and that radiant shape that, that you really are looking for. The next one is the bent over row and its variations. There's the Penley row and then there's the Yates row. Those, those are gonna help you with all of your back muscles, your lats, especially your lats. Um, you want proper form, you're gonna watch me. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to do the bent over row here in this video, but I have a whole video. Um, if you uh, look at my YouTube channel, I have a whole video on bent over row as I do the, the pri all the prior exercises that I've mentioned. And finally, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna focus on the deadlift. Now that's, this is like a big one that I don't see girls doing and, and these influencers avoid altogether. They don't want to do the deadlift because they think the deadlift is going to give them like a, a man's body. Uh, the, their rhomboids are going to protrude and they're going to walk like a dude and all of that. I think that it's the deadlift that changed my life. I, 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 I know I talk a lot about the squat, but it's the deadlift that is just so amazing. It, it does so much for you. I do less stomach exercises because I do the deadlift. It works out my abdomen. It works out my core. It works out my back muscles. It works out my butt. And that's the thing. People don't think about their glutes getting bigger because they're deadlifting. They do. They get huge when you deadlift. So you're gonna to wanna to focus on these basic five compound exercises. And if you have time, I recommend that you do some, some accessory exercises. For example, you, you're gonna to wanna to do the bicep curl, and you all know what that is. You're gonna to wanna to do tri any tricep exercise, like the tricep pull down. I taught you guys uh, how to do the skull crushers. The skull crushers, I think, are incredibly good. I'm thinking um, of other uh, tricep exercises that are phenomenal. You guys all know, you know, umpteen tricep exercises. There, there's, uh, uh, what is it called, the Amador? You, when you push up, you know, or you get on a, a bench and you push up with your triceps, anyway. Focus on your triceps and your biceps equally. You want 
to match both sides. So you're gonna do the same number of sets and repetitions for both. You can even uh, do pull-ups. That helps so much with your biceps and triceps. There's so many exercises. There's just, just a huge repertoire of exercises that will build and strengthen your arms. Then, of course, you're gonna to wanna to focus on your shoulders. One, one that I like a lot is the bent over dumbbell lateral raises. I do that a lot. And that's gonna build all the muscles of your uh, deltoids, uh, all three muscles. You wanna work on your shoulders to get that balanced look because you're working on your chest and you're working on your arms. You need your shoulders to be equally pronounced you're gonna to wanna to do the dumbbell lateral raises, the one arm cable lateral raise, which a lot of us do in the gym. It is a phenomenal exercise for the shoulders. And finally, the standing barbell shrugs. You're gonna to wanna to do that. You're gonna to wanna to work out all of your accessory muscles as well as your primary mover muscles, the big muscles in your body. You're gonna to wanna to work every single part of your body out so that you are balanced and beautiful, ladies. You, you can't fear weightlifting. You have to see it as the thing that's gonna help you to stay trim, to stay fit. You're burning calories at night when you sleep much more than if you just did aerobic exercise. You're gonna burn so many calories at night. You need to eat right. You need to think about eating enough protein, having enough vegetables, eating enough carbohydrates, the complex kind. You need to eat enough of those. You're gonna to have to drink a lot of fluids, a lot of water during the day, several liters, I think at least two liters, maybe three. You have to focus on all of you. Your brain is important. Your body is equally important. Your health is important. So that's what I wanted to say today. I just wanted to emphasize how important it is, ladies, especially you ladies, but it, this, this pertains to everyone, how important it is to focus on every part and divide up your regime, you know, certain days, certain parts, um, you know, today is leg day or, or today is upper body day, you know, it, have your own because I'm not going to recommend any kind of schedule. You guys have to figure out what schedule works for you and everybody has their own time constraints and everybody has their own kind of, of, of workouts that they enjoy. So, so, you know, compartmentalize each day, work out one or two muscle groups, just keep working out. Just keep doing what you're doing and you'll see phenomenal results. You, you will never regret. I don't think you'll ever regret unless you work out one body part too much. Then, you know, like I've seen guys, they just work out their pecs and they don't work out their legs or their, um, their glutes. You, you need to work the whole body out and then you see those, you know, just just those beautiful people. I, I see beautiful people leaving the gym, and that's the goal: is is to be healthy and strong and beautiful, or at least your best self. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. I hope you guys benefited from this lesson, and if you like watching me, Squat Mom. Please smash the like button, and if you really like me or you really like my content, I would hope that all of you would subscribe and we can just enjoy this journey together. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm so glad I had this opportunity to talk to you, and you have a great day.